And for more on that, I'm joined now by Kato Yoshikazu. He's an adjunct professor at the Asia Global Institute at the University of Hong Kong, and he's written extensively about Chinese-Japanese relations. Kato, I want to start by asking you, why seven years? You know, that yes. seems like a long time for neighbors. Uh, yes, uh, this is a very important step for Japan and China because uh, over the last couple of years, even decade, uh, we have witnessed a very difficult uh, problems, uh, including East China Sea issue or mutual distrust. So now, you know, in, in, in terms of joint celebrating for the anniversary, now, you know, our Prime Minister and Premier could sub together and joint celebrate and deliver a very friendship, a positive message to more than 800 uh, audience from the two sides. And this is very important uh, time for both bilateral relationship. Now, these are Asia's two biggest economies. These are two powerhouses, if you will. How important do you think it is that they get along well? Uh, of course, you know, as a fact, you know, we are the, the uh, second, third largest economy in the world. And now, uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said, uh, we hope uh, lift the bilateral relationship to a new phase or a new stage. What does it mean? Actually, now, at this moment, Japan, Japanese government terminated the ODA. Official, assistance, official development assistance to China over the last 40 years. And this has continued over the last 40 years. And, and this means Japan now recognizes that China is a great economic power. And now we are emphasizing to strengthen the cooperation in the third countries or regions. And this means we can uh, make our economy uh, going to the new stage. So this is going to be internationalized the Japan-China relationship, and it could be more, you know, contribution to the world and world economies. Was ending the, the ODA, this uh, Japan's aid program to China, ending it raised some eyebrows. Uh, what did China get from that program over the past several decades? Was ending it the right thing to do? And even if it was, did it send perhaps the wrong message at this crucial time? Yeah, I think uh, to this year, it's all, all, also it's uh, 40 anniversary years of Deng Xiaoping's historical visit to Japan. And actually, our ODA and Chinese uh, reform and openness, op openness strategy, this is, you know, this is uh, you know, developing together. It's, it's always you know, a joint contribution to the Chinese economy. So I think, of course, China gets a lot, but you know, Japan gets a lot. It's a more you know, mutually beneficial oriented. So, uh, but now China is developing very rapidly and the second largest economy in the world. So now our economic relationship could be more, you know, mutual, you know, more parallel. It's a more mutually beneficial. So maybe not only Japanese investment to China, again, maybe the Chinese investment to Japan or our joint investment in some developing countries like South Southeast Asia or African continent. So this could be a more symbolic and, it, and we can say this is a new stage for Japanese, Japan, China economic ties. And it's great. To, it's very great, I think. And, you know, this important meeting uh, that uh, Shinzo Abe has with Xi Jinping on Friday afternoon, our reporter there, Tang Bo, was saying it's about political trust building. What do you think are the challenges there? Uh, of course, you know, a lot of uncertainties and challenges remain. For example, some East China Sea issue. Maybe I, I think at this moment uh, today, Shinzo Abe is trying to negotiate with Premier Li about uh, joint exploration program in East China Sea. Uh, this, this has been actually, you know, pending uh, almost 10 years. And this is a sensitive issue. Well, how to stabilize the East China Sea? And we, maybe we are going to negotiate uh, the communication or relationship between people liberation armies and Japanese self-defense defense force. I think these this, this issues can be more sensitive. But, uh, you know, now our prime minister and maybe Shinzo Abe is trying to meet with President Xi Jinping, and this could provide a more, you know, politically friendship and politically, you know, positive uh, atmosphere and messages to the two, two countries. And maybe uh, two bi uh, the businessmen from the two sides uh, got some benefits or profits from this you know, politically uh, improved relationship. All right, Kata Yoshikazu from the University of Hong Kong, thank you for joining us to discuss this important visit.